Welcome to our first pilot episode, historic landmark here, of our podcast under the beautiful name of Arch Visenchil. So today we're going to be speaking uh, a little bit about this concept and what's behind what we're doing. It's a very creative concept. We're bringing different types of people, which you're seeing uh, right next to me, Mr. David Cabrera, who's an architectural photographer. And we're also gonna have other people from the team sitting in on this. Guys, say, say, say hello. Hello, guys. Um, hello. Sorry. Hello, hello. Yeah. So, <laughs> Guys, bear with us because this is a learning experience for us and it's the first one we're doing and uh, we've already spotted a couple of things we can improve on. But anyway, we wanted to do something very chilled. So something that was just laid back, giving you a different type of perspective, more connected to design, more connected to the creative fields that are out there. And not just about architectural visualization, but also people from different fields, uh, clients, uh, teachers, things like that, that are connected in some way to what we do and have like just a nice conversation over some wine, which today in honor of our guest, Mr. <laughs> David Cabrera, <laughs> who is from Canary Islands and who I had the pleasure of working with in the past. And today in your honor, we've got this really nice bottle of Marques de Varga Reserva. Uh, we're not sponsored by them, but you know. Yeah, no. But we, li we like red wine, so it's fine. <laughs> we love red wine in the office. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, just to loosen and Salute. soften Salute things up. Here. Salute to everyone. Salute. So without further ado, I'm, let me introduce you to David wow. and also to Timon uh, to say a couple of quick words and just really give us a little bit of idea of what they do, how we met, because uh, um, we're going to link all this stuff below as well. And let's just really get into this. Um, let me start probably just saying hello to Mr. Timon. And uh, Timon, tell everyone All right, so, a little bit about you. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Timon, and I've been working with Akinan for a year and a, a, year and a half now already. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That is flying quite yeah, fast, yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so I started as an intern. I'm passionate about illustration, concept art, and of course, Agvis. And uh, Pedro gave me my chance, and I kind of never left <laughs> since uh, then. And we it's we been, all uh, gained. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's been a pleasure working there. Uh, learned a lot, learned fast as well. Yeah, but uh, well. this episode is not about me, so I'll leave uh, David. Wow. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for having me here. So all the links are going to be below. Tell us about, uh, yeah, who is David? What do you do? Why cool. are you here? Cool. Thank you, Pedro and Tim, for having me here in Arki9, this amazing studio in Reggae. I to catch a train, leave London, something different. Thank yeah, you so it's much. It's 40 minutes from London, okay? It's, it's, it's direct, it's, direct it's train. It's a bit like Cambridge. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. But it's beautiful. Yeah, David, and then I've been working as a uh, freelance photographer in the life five, five six, year, six years, and my, I'm specialized in architecture, and I do a lot of work for uh, high, um, ArcVis companies, architects, and developers. Mm. Anything, brands, and I work for advertising as, a bit as well. So basically, um, specialize also in planning photography, and I'm based in London since 2012. So um, tell us a little bit about you know what yeah, did you study? So what yeah. you know what did you? Yeah, it's been like a, a long journey. Started in the Canary Islands where I'm from um, as a press photographer, as a press photographer, and I started doing sports for a paper there. And then I moved to Barcelona, studied photography there. I did the, the degree and I have a professor there, Mark Goodwin, and then she was, he's uh, British. He was doing architecture and I didn't know what architectural photography was by the time. Okay, so, so that's what got your interest. Were you already interested in architecture before becoming an photo, uh, architectural photographer? That's, that's a good question. The thing is, I have a lot of interest, mainly yeah. portrait, press, so my head so it's, was, I guess yeah, it's, you know, it's a different approach. So I yeah. was really fast with the camera, not tripods. Okay. Uh, you know, maybe a flash gun and that's it. I have an assignment at the university in the UPC, the Polytechnical, that was about taking pictures of buildings, very easy. <laughs> so, sorry, I don't want to be <laughs> like, uh, if yeah, they, it was a kindergarten. They, they don't move too fast, the buildings. It's yeah, <laughs> but, but it's been, so it's been a process, no? When I was first in the Canaries, I was as a press photographer, I was studying history. <coughs> I didn't finish it because I wasn't sure. And then I started with the degree, and in the second year, mm -hmm. I photographed um, a building. So I was kind of, wow, this is, this is cool. Okay. I have a, a professor 
that he was uh, Mark. He was very inspiring to me. But when I start taking the pitches, I feel like uh, really connected to the subject and at the same time calm. Oh, okay, okay. So this this teacher was kind of your inspiration. Like you had this assignment, you were like, oh, I actually I really like mentor. this, and you got really yeah. into that. Did you have any other inspiration beside like this teacher, like maybe other artists or even I think, other other genres? I think I think Mark was by the time, and still is is a great inspiration because he was really, you know, when you don't have anything, you have yeah. nothing. Yeah. And you start from the scratch, as uh, you know, guys, how things work. Mm, yeah. You need uh, <laughs> inspiration from people, you need uh, mentors, you need uh, films, movies, so you try to absorb mm. everything. Mm -hmm. So by the time I have uh, Mark, I, and I saw him like a way. So it's very easy. So when you are in the uni, you try to copy other, uh, other professor or photographers. Yeah. That's yeah. very simple. So it's kind of a learning curve. like. We, I think we all start this way, learning mm. the basic and kind of copying. You, mm. Yeah, it's, um, I'm sorry to interrupt, no, but one, one big question always comes to my, one, not question, but one thing always comes to mind, which is when you have like this thing of imitating someone who's really good yeah. or, you know, even, even for ourselves, when we follow certain people that do certain things, it's also important to understand who are their mentors? Who are they? Who are exactly. they following? And I always find this like if you follow this stream with stream upwards, you always find like the most crazy, uh, amazing stuff hmm, because it, it just makes you like um, okay, look at the problem in a different light and look at the you know look at the shape in a different way and realize wait wait a minute you know hmm. this is uh, not square this is kind of round. And yeah. so I think this yeah. is yeah this is one of the big things about uh, inspiration and mentorship and things like that yeah and then at the same time i, I have access to a library with yeah. plenty of books because i'm talking about back to 2006 2007 so it's not like now that everyone tried to consume digitally yeah mm. yeah so by the time i remember going to exhibitions every weekend going to the library every day i start seeing the one of the things i remember i had physically the architectural magazines is the library. Oh, okay. By the time yeah. they were like, you know, guys, are bit expensive. Which ones? Which ones? Architura, uh, Architectura Viva, all hey, the, the <laughs> Domus, yeah. all the all the international uh, yeah. world paper. Croggy, Croggy. Yeah. Uh, and you know, guys, Croggy is, is like uh, one of the super expensive. Super expensive. I don't even know how they make money because <laughs> yeah. it was beautiful produce. Yeah. And um, by the time. It's not just you have one path or one inspiration in both in two ways. No, it's just I have the library in the evenings. I have this amazing professor. Yeah. I have another professor that was Carlos Micha, that he was a technical man. He yeah. was the guy who teach us, who taught us how to work the digital file and yeah. get the best of the best. At the same time, I was um, with other three or four professors. And then I have Lorena yeah. that was another photographer I was assisting in yeah. Barcelona and she was a portrait photographer. So then I will have the workshops that we would, it was like a 360. Yeah, yeah. so I think, I think I'm not, I don't think I'm very academic. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. Yeah. If you give me something, I, I, I'm really difficult to memorize things. And yeah. That's what I didn't study architecture guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I just couldn't. Well, it, so it, it didn't nice. happen. Well, so. I, I actually think there, this is something, it's, it's only my opinion, of course, but I've hmm. seen many artists that basically don't really follow the basics or hmm. don't follow the rules, actually end up creating something very different and unique. And it doesn't mean it's like maybe the, the, um, the, the main, like the basic structure that everyone knows is not there, huh. but you exactly. have the creativity that truly really well, shows up. One of the first quotes I remember for this uh, professor at university, Carles uh, mm -hmm. Micha, he said, you guys are here. We, we were 20 mm. uh, people there in the in the, um, in the uni class. He said, welcome to the photography class first year. If you guys are here, it's because you are not genius. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first quote he said. And, and he said, okay, well, congratulations, you made it. You are yeah. here, but well, you are not genius. And that's yeah. true because... <laughs> That's quite the first impression the, for, was, for a teacher. And the second sentence, the, sen the second quote he say, the photographer yeah. now is a guy who really need to know his shit, his things. Yeah. He really need to be polite, who mm -hmm. really need to be, have a good approach, be 
um, fair person who treat well clients and colleagues. <laughs> It's 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 like mm. a, a different thing, and now with the social media, we are completely exposed. Yeah, so whatever yeah. you do, it's gonna be there online. So yeah, yeah. Well, social. Uh, I don't know what you think. We, we were touching on this before, like uh, the paper that social media plays, and especially Instagram. Right, everyone's a photographer now. Yeah. So you exactly. you become yeah. a competitor, and it's it's a little bit of what goes on with what we do, where where there's this thing of like. Just take some photos, you know, just go there, yeah. just, there's this thing, you yeah. know, you studied, you also mentioned you studied in Barcelona, and I'm going to touch upon that for you, mm -hmm. but there's that thing of where you're, you know, it's kind of making your profession, your trade, what you studied so many yeah. years, and the, yeah. your understanding, we can see by the, the stuff you do, and kind of bringing it to a low point of like, you know, come on, you know, make some images, make a couple of images, uh, Go and take some photos, David. I mean, come on, it's an afternoon, and it's 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 hmm. the same. We can compare, and I always like to compare as chefs as well, right? Yeah. Chefs, yeah. you know, you go to a high grade restaurant, and you're hmm. you're paying for that experience. You're paying for the person who's yeah. behind the knowledge yeah. they have. You're you're paying for all the things they're doing as well to yeah. research to understand. So, you know, when someone comes to you to take photos, they can go and take it themselves. But at the exactly. same time, what what makes it and this is a question I, I put to you. What, what, you know, what is the value as well that you give to the people that come to you? Why, why is it David and not the Instagram? I think, I think first of all, the the service. I mean, the 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 speed is very important in architecture mm. because the weather is very mm. precious in UK. <laughs> it's something yeah. I learned the first few guys. We 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 are, we didn't grow up here, so first yeah. thing you yeah. notice in UK is the summer. It's the bad weather. The summer, yeah. <laughs> the bad weather. I, I think, but they have football. That's important. Yeah. they have football teams. I think that's well, when important. I first arrived to UK, I, I haven't seen the sun for maybe three weeks. I was like, does it even exist here? Yeah, <laughs> this time of year is difficult. Yeah, man. this time of year we have this huge skylight. I mean, we're recording this at what? It's like four o'clock. It was night time. Yeah, it's already it's already oh, sunset now. And especially, I think, uh, even Timon, who also was somehow part of Spain, for us, the light yeah. is such an important yeah. aspect of, of life. And the Mediterranean light is so special and so yeah. nice. We, we have some pictures up. But um, that, that kind of brings me to, to ask you, um, you know, what is your favorite, a couple of questions, but yeah, yeah, yeah. what is your favorite place to photograph and why? I think this year definitely I'm going to go for Portugal. Not, not because you're Portuguese and I try mm. to impress you, make an impression. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say I was really impressed of about the, the lighting. It's yeah. very similar to the Canary Islands. First of all, I have the idea. This is just um, a thought. You, you may disagree or agree, I don't know. That the light of your holidays, of your summer holidays, is the light that keeps in your mind rolling the rest yeah, of your yeah, life. That's beautiful. Yeah. And for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for nice. me that's poetry. Yeah. And yeah. for me, and that's free, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we just need some sponsors. We'll monetize that. <laughs> and for me, I spend my summer holidays with my parents in Fuerteventura. So my parents oh, working yeah. in Gran Canaria. Every summer we spend a month in Fuerteventura. Okay. So for me, Fuerteventura light is, is a bit like Portugal there. It's this amazing it's, long sunset, long yeah. shadows. Crazy tints in the sky more, as well. Like it's beautiful. Mm, yeah. So, and for us, when we had a rainy, cloudy day, mm -hmm. it was sad it makes, make, because we have to stay yeah. in and we couldn't play football outside. Yeah, yeah. And for British people, it's different because they can make, play with the with this light. We were talking well, before about clients and, <coughs> and well, it's, we did I, nothing with the weather. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, we, 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 we work in yeah. an industry that they want mm -hmm. sunny pictures, they want really good weather mm -hmm. because they need yeah. to sell the flats. But if mm -hmm. we look at the artists, if you go to the national gallery or everywhere you can see that they you have different lights yeah, yeah. i love the light in spain and portugal well, turner you can tell turner, yes, is I, like, yeah, turner. Yeah, yeah. I saw one of the first exhibition was turner and the masters and his masters and it was kind of uh, very deep like yeah. you get lost in the and in then the in spain we have this and it's black or white yeah, <laughs> there is, yeah but here yeah. you have like a long shadows sometimes you have uh, cloudy stuff when it's about to rain you, you can play with the light. It's not yeah. that bad, but you need to get used yeah. to it. Okay. You, you, okay. You, just to say something else, actually working together with you, because we work together yeah. on, on projects, you do the photography for the sites and, and all right, drink. It's your time to drink. But it's kind of funny because the, this, this last project we work on, which unfortunately is confidential still, 
But basically, I, I I think you agree with this as well. I, I'm not sure if you've seen one of the latest shoots, but your mm -hmm. photography is always very clear in the skies and it's always yeah. trying to replicate a little, well, not always, but yeah, I can yeah. see a lot of the influence I, of that light. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's probably because it was my best memories as a, as a, as a kid. Yeah. So living in Las Palmas, it was a town with flats and it was like a school, like the routine. And going back yeah. to Fuerteventura where my grandparents live, that was like a dream. And we were dreaming about this and the light was like that. So for yeah. me, this kind of keeps in your memory and then living in in Spain, uh, growing up in the Canaries, this is the kind of light that makes me happy. Okay. Mm. So when I we think... talk about excitement, it's it's some, my photography is very difficult to feed in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you're quite successful here. Yeah. I, I'm doing well, I'm doing okay. But uh, you're, you're I'm, working I'm, for I'm okay. modest. But I'm you okay. have an international clientele, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I work for the NFL. I've worked for uh, German companies. Yeah. I do a lot of stock photography and some of some people from abroad. So that's yeah. fine. I think as long as you are comfortable with that light, mm -hmm. it's fine because if I start photographing like uh, British photographers or another kind of photographers, yeah. but I don't want to make tax and classify people because mm. I think we live in a... No, you can. Yeah. It's, uh, I think it's very difficult because, you know, Hafton and Crown... Hafton and Crown are like one of the big... Architectural photographers. And they are really cool guys. They amazing. are doing an amazing architecture. Yeah. They are British photographers, but the way they photograph, it's it's a different. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. No? You, you touch on two things. And no, it's one like of the a... things we, and Timon as well, because mm -hmm. he, he knows this all very well. Hafton and Crow, Ivan Ban, and Fernando Guerra, right? Which is three photographers, so which the, are the, kind For of, me, the triangle. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> But <laughs> if you look at them and you look where they're from and you look how they photograph, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Like, Fernando Guerra is completely you know, hardcore, really powerful like blue sky. I like the way and you say Guerra. 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 The way the, the Portuguese Guerra. people, for another friend. We, we have the double. That took me when I moved from Australia a long time to get that's, like properly saying. That's a mission, eh, but yeah. yeah. And you don't want to know. Uh, that took a long time. Guerra. Guerra. I still don't say it. We right. say guerra in Spanish. Fernando Guerra. Guerra. Yeah. Guerra. Tienes que rolar los R's, eh? Yeah. And then, then in Portuguese, sounds like, yeah. Yeah. But even like it's funny we're talking about culturalism right yeah. and how it affects art and then we're talking linguistics as well and yeah. you know, all these things culminate we are yeah in the end um yeah i think it's part of the globalization the architects are having international projects yeah. the photographers the big names they are traveling around the world photographing yeah. so of course when you see iwan pictures they they look the same, but yeah. they, he needs to also adapt to the... I, I think it's kind of the job of the artist uh, nowadays to... Hmm. Actually, I think it was always like this. An artist has to really travel to exactly. see by his own eyes like, yeah, yeah. The, what he's actually going to represent and paint because hmm. um, once you're there, you really see so. things that you would never hmm. know before, like even by just watching a Google image. Yeah. Uh, the feeling is very different and what we do is represent a feeling mostly. Um, yeah, exactly. So what is if you would try to represent something you actually never lived? Uh, yeah. It's it's really hard. You can have a good idea. Like most artists are talented with that, but if, the more you travel, I feel the more like yeah. you open your eyes to all of this. For, for me, yeah. coming back to that point that you say, it's mm -hmm. like uh, when you take the pictures and then I review the picture and I select it and I send it to you. I have, I need to have the feeling about my impression and yeah. wh when I talk about the summer, my visual culture, that I want to be in that photograph. Yeah. If okay. I have the picture, but I feel like I don't want to be in, Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. Uh, you have this feeling like uh, there is no... No soul. No, no yeah, soul. there is no of, soul. Yeah. I have the feeling like uh, when I take the picture, especially in Rome mm. or Lisbon, I've been doing a bit of European trips. This, yeah. By the way, you feel... Feel free to travel and take a pictures you want because yeah. the buildings yeah. are there for you. Don't don't yeah. don't wait to anyone to commission anything because yeah. I mean even we, we can talk about tips and anything, but one of the things if sometimes I travel with friends or girlfriend, and then at some point I say okay I'm gonna go for a walk and then I do my thing. Sometimes I travel alone. Yeah. But just do your thing, guys. Don't don't yeah. wait to anyone to... Oh, yeah, that's definitely well, true. Like, if you wait for someone to take your hand and lead you where you want to be, yeah. you can wait a long time, I can tell you that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and de definitely one of the things, like, because we, we have a close relationship and 
we're, we're good friends and we work together and we drink wine together as well. <laughs> One of the things that actually characterizes David ah. is when I call him, mm -hmm. he's always somewhere and, and he's always out. And I'm, I'm in the office and I'm like, this lucky mm. son of a gun. <laughs> um, but actually today, I'm, I'm, I, I was thinking, man, this guy is suffering it, today because of the yeah. weather is super cold. Uh, it's, yeah, it's cold. I, I would like to be like you guys in the office more often. <laughs> <laughs> because I was, I was in Chatham in Ken on Monday. Yesterday mm. I was in Waterloo and then I went to... Camberwell and then back home processing. Yeah. Last week I was in Cambridge and I was in um, Leicester as well. Yeah, Different. Yeah. I, I'm doing a lot of planning jobs Yeah. and then I do some architectural commissions or the jobs, but I do a lot of planning and it's, it's, it's quite busy. And one of the things, uh, coming back to your question, the clients ask for speed as well. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah, yeah. they don't, I... they don't want to hear, no, I'm busy. Uh, I I'm gonna I'm doing this for that no no they just wanna hear yeah. that it's it's you are available and also UK is very flexible and mm. there is, there, so there are trains everywhere you can go. Uh, I, I guess that's a big part of the job no like hmm, it's really it. a lot of planning to do because yes. uh, you mentioned so many places and it was only in a week. Mm. Yeah, and the last weeks it's been like a planning and then clients and it could mm. be. Uh, mainly UK, sometimes Spain. Um, you have to, you need to ask for a clear brief what they want. Yeah. If they you you've been working with them before, it's it's okay. And you need to know about time of day, what time they want the beaches to be taken, yeah. and also you need to check the forecast in UK. I check the BBC weather website with a, along other ones and then try to make a plan and okay. then if you are far away and it's raining yeah, yeah. you probably <laughs> didn't do your homework so, yeah, yeah so it did that happen sometimes where you actually get to a location and the weather completely makes the job impossible <laughs> yeah but then you have to wait and pray oh and yeah then. you <laughs> wait and pray <laughs> and there's always gonna be a gap in london yeah. or everywhere especially yeah. in south uh, england no and then Sometimes you have a five minutes gap and mm -hmm. the better you are there with your tripod and mm -hmm. not in yeah. the Starbucks or, yeah, yeah. or doing so that's where we work along a lot. Mm -hmm. Some people ask me, oh, if you need an assistant, but that's why we work along the architectural photographers, yeah. unless you have a heavy equipment, mm -hmm. a big, big, large format camera and you need someone, yeah, yeah. but we just work yeah. along because you have to wait long hours. You have to wait in the car. It's raining. You have to be like, uh, imagine summer in yeah. UK, you start like seven in the morning and you could finish at 10. Yeah. Now that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a long day. Not many really people like want to do this. So yeah. that's... Uh, yeah. So one thing, we're talking about lo location, right? We're talking yeah. where, hmm. you know, where the light, where this. So what I want to understand, because you basically, Canaries, just give a bit of background. I'm not sure if we, we've spoken about that, but uh, you went to Canaries, then you studied yeah. in Barcelona. Yeah. Uh, for four years. Uh, yeah, then teaching a bit. Teaching a bit. That and was then... an exercise because I was very shy. I couldn't speak. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, no one would say that. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, look like and I remember my first class. Yeah. Basically, after after the degree, I was approached by a friend who had connection in a school and mm -hmm. said, we're looking for a, prof a teacher to teach to kids and yeah. adults some kind of digital technique. and Yeah, and I, photography. Yeah, yeah, and I was doing one-to-one. Yeah. to different people that, that because we, we knew a lot by the time. Now people go to Google but and do YouTube. But by the time, yeah. I was doing that. And then I remember my first class. It was the worst class oh, yeah. ever, man. <laughs> I was shaking. Students are terrifying. I was shaking my legs and yeah. I had to go upstairs and open the door and see a 20 people class. Oh, and what, was, age? what age? What well, age? They were between 18 and uh, could be 35 yeah. adults. Ooh, first. It's, it's... Um, I knew my, my, my thing, mm -hmm. but once it's a different thing if you know what you're talking about and then you need to know how to teach it. And yeah. I have seen your tutorials. Yeah. Yeah. They are very clear. Also, you have to be passionate. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think I'm going to teach in 20 or 25 years when I retire. <laughs> <laughs> because, because I think now I, I can't teach, but I think... You, you don't the, teach at the moment. No, no. I just do in... Um, I just do in my thing okay and i it, it was an amazing experience because yeah. i have to prepare the classes yeah and i have to teach for the same class four times yeah yeah so the evening guys were the lucky guys because i already they i already did the class three times so the last so ones yeah. were really like a, 
<laughs> There's always the party one. And, <laughs> and I was frustrated because the school, Grisart in Barcelona, was mm-hmm. really cool. It was amazing. The people, yeah. the students, the feedback mm-hmm. was amazing. But I was I felt frustrated because I want to do photography. Yeah. I want to yeah, take photos. Yeah, and and I feel like I was trapped. I think when you teach, you kind of stop um, creating and pushing the limits. It's like more, yeah. you kind of have the base you have to, to teach. For me, it's like completely different jobs, in yeah, my opinion. Exactly. Um, here we have. We are lucky to do both uh, here, but yeah. the thing is, the tutorial, we make them kind of what we want, what we can, actually, exactly. when we can, I mean. But you, the, the main income of the studio, obviously, is creating exactly. CGI's for clients, yeah. and then secondary, secondly, yeah. you this, are doing training, yeah. That yeah. that's a different, but you have to, they are connected to, yeah. to each other, but if you are doing full-time training, it's a completely different. Business. Yeah, you yeah. could be isolated for yeah, the yeah. for the good thing here is you are ninety five percent work, five yeah. percent training. So yeah. both are connected. Yeah. and and I mean the you know a few years back when we started, I think was when the trend was getting high of like a lot of online training. Yeah, and since I was a kid, this was one of the things I remember buying my first computer. My parents going to the store and seeing a computer. And hearing about the internet and and I remember them saying like the internet, you know, it was people were talking about the internet, and we were talking these crappy modems like 14.4, yeah. 14, what was it? 14, I can't even remember. It was like yeah. beep, 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 beep. Number. <laughs> and I remember like one of the first things was that, that blew my mind was that I could speak with someone. I was in Australia at the time. Oh, I must I must have been like 10, something like 11, 11, let's say 11. And I remember just how much it blew my mind to to think that I could speak with someone in Africa. Africa yeah. was like, because yeah. there was always these things about on the TV to help, uh, you know, the yeah, African like nations. Instantaneously as well. Yeah. That's what's crazy and, to me. Yeah. And when, when, when I started doing it, I, I started doing this from you know from my um, living room. If you hear the first tutorials, they sound like I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> they sound really bad, and I still get comments like everyone saying, "The sound, man. Come yeah, the sound, the sound. <laughs> guys. We we're trying here. Come on. Sorry about the mic here because the mic situation. But anyway, yeah, you just uh, learning, and then yeah. you improve, and, and, and then you learn, and then yeah. Then when I made this, I I thought, you know. No one's talking about post production that much. Everyone's really into all this marketing stuff that's going on with these companies that are marketing the hell out of these tutorials, yeah. which at the time was like, you know, was big. But I'd had an experience of Bionics as well. I was very into post production. I felt it was as close as you can get into mm. drawing and being again part of the architectural process. And then I started this because I started to think, well, wouldn't it be great if we, we got it out there, if we get people just, you know, seeing what, what yeah. what's done. Shedding. And yeah. I was by myself, so it wasn't like a, a huge company going on and lots of people. But yeah. I thought, wouldn't it be great if we inspire someone on the other side of the world to do something yeah. which they never or yeah. they learn something. And Agree. that's my thought like from when I was a kid. So... I guess you know uh, this this teaching thing has a lot to be said. That's with. that's 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 the way. My my dad is a professor at uni, mm. and he's very passionate in what he's doing. So it's been also you don't do teaching if you don't really like. Yeah, people. Yeah. You need to be attached to the subject and people understand. And you need to give, yeah. give, 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 I, give, I give, like. and then. Maybe you get something back. Yeah. So for mm-hmm. me, teaching was like this, and then when I go home, I just have something from the fridge and go to bed because I yeah. felt exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. So teaching yeah. has to. So now in in the YouTube channel, it could be like more like a marketing or sharing process. So, but yeah, I think it could but be maybe maybe twenty years. So. I, I feel like teaching is kind of an art form as well. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. instead of using brushes, you you like you paint minds in a way. I actually had this oh, teacher. I had this teacher in my art school for him teaching. Like he was an artist before becoming a teacher. Yeah. And once he, <laughs> once he, for him, his learning process was really like art. He wanted to uh, build a message yeah. through and, what and he was also, doing. Also, also, you guys when go to a um, uni reunion. Maybe you talk about teachers, the professor. Yeah. The yeah. bad ones, you don't talk about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. You <laughs> no, always you, talk you about talk the crazy. Them. You talk about them. <laughs> but then, you talk about the crazy ones usually. Yeah, the crazy ones and the good ones and the and yeah. and the ones. But then after so many years, if we talk about primary school, I yeah. maybe remember two or three that they yeah. were the best ones. Yeah. That yeah. gave me some kind of motivation. Or... Um basically you were telling a story about your father and going back to the teaching. Um Yeah, he linked uh, 
about what I said before about teaching, that mm -hmm. I wasn't ready at all to teach photography. It was a nice experience. But when I when I heard the the stories from my dad, he was he, he was teaching at uni. He's teaching um, medicine uh, pathology, mm. and he was wow. able to recover. Not an easy job, man. He was able to recover a student that he dropped out, he didn't want, and then he took it back at some point and he helped him and he's always giving, 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 giving and every professor is like this, so every teacher that you have in life. So we were yeah. talking about the teachers we remember. When I was teaching and then suddenly I have my first commissions. Yeah. Uh, but first of all, I had, uh, like I, I was telling you, I didn't have any portfolio to show. Yeah. What they did, I. What I, I did, it was taking the Phaidon Atlas of architecture thing, and then you open it and you have the best architecture yeah. in the world. So I took Supposedly. my car and I was driving around Spain <laughs> and I was photographing buildings with no, with no permissions. I didn't have any idea about lighting. I took the car, went to Valencia, uh, Ciudad de las Artes, art city of Calatrava. Then I took the car went to uh, Murcia to photograph a Moneo building, no permit. Yeah, you were from Moneo. And then from there, I went to Alicante. Uh, so you created a portfolio in a week? Yeah, like Alba, <laughs> yeah, Alvaro Sisa building. And oh, then blah. Wait, which one? Uh, it was a rectory building, a University of Alicante. Mm -hmm. It wasn't very famous. Uh, His stuff is beautiful. So what I'm trying to say is it's always been like a battle. Yeah. It's always mm. been like you don't have nothing and then you start having something and then you have a client and then you have two, you have three. Yeah. And you start building something. Yeah. It's, um, it's that thing of... Uh, and I, I identify this a lot with any project we do, like anything we do in the studio, anything we start developing, which is... When you have a project, and, and this is totally mm. off the radar, mm -hmm. uh, off, off the thing, but is when you have this idea, right? This kind of inception thing where you you have this small little idea, and but you're like, oh man, this is a mountain to do. In the beginning, yeah. you get like, yeah. Yeah. You, you see, even you to see us, it's a journey. Yeah. Yeah. We get like so hyper excited, we're like, oh, yeah. this and that, and this is going to happen. Yeah. And then we're like, Wait a minute, for this to happen. That's the thing, yeah, because it's beautiful to have ideas, but to make them you know, to become reality, it's such a hard work, yeah. usually. And, and you have to start somewhere, which is yeah. what you're talking about. And you start in little baby steps, yeah. hmm. and then these baby steps <laughs> yeah. go on well, to bigger steps. It's like if I have to do chapters of this, of, of my photography life, it's been like a press photographer, a bad one, yeah. chapter one. <laughs> Uh, doing the, the uh, amateur football, then the next step, going to Barcelona. I was in a photography shop mm -hmm. selling cameras, and at the same time, I was doing a lot of things. It was like 360 thing, like I have a lot yeah. of... Yeah. Then the next one, I, I was a bad uh, professor of, or trying to be, uh, I'm going to be a, a photography uh, teacher. And uh, then when, when I realized, ex uh, like chapter four, I want to be an architectural photographer. Yeah. Because it was the thing that I really was passionate about. The same did with my dad or my brother. That He say my brother say when he was 11 or 12 years old, I want a computer dad because I want to be a journalist. Yeah. And he was 12 years old. And he's yeah, a journalist That's crazy, now. eh? And he's a good one. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, you, you were talking about one, one of the things you were, you were just mentioning um, was, uh, you know, you, you know you want to be something and how clear this path was in your head. Yeah, Did clear. you ever doubt this? Did you ever get no. to a point and you're like, man... Is it really for me? Yeah, yeah. this... Uh, man, it, it's I'm, too hard or... Because yeah. I think as an artist, we all have these battles. Like, we feel, oh, I'm never going to get there or this type of thing. So you, you look at other people's work mm. and you kind of... You get encouraged, but at the same time, you're like, I'm never going to get this good. Did, did this, this type of thought ever, mm. like, push you back? Mm. Actually, sometimes I, I was stopped in because of the money thing. No, you oh. need to monetize. Yeah. You need to create to make money. Yeah. Mm. And then you want to be something and then it's difficult because you want to pay bills. So at the beginning, I was paying the bills with the side job, maybe. Yeah, with, yeah. The, with the side jobs. But yeah. then when you start having your first commission and then people start trusting you, I think what it was really good and it was a faith uh, test when 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 I didn't have much money and I was mm -hmm. still shooting architecture for the for the sake for, for just the, yeah for yeah. the passion I think and especially yeah. in London the first year it was really sad it was really bad oh, yeah. you know it's a huge contrast because yeah. I didn't study in London or in the, yeah. in, in, so it was cultural shock yeah it was a culture shock uh, just weather got, yeah. weather shock 
So a friend, mm. girlfriend by the time said, listen, there is this building, new building in the Docklands. So I say, okay, I will go there. <laughs> I will. I say, oh, by the way, I'm going to photograph this and send an email to the press yeah. people. And they say, yes, because I already published my work. And then suddenly you, you, you keep, keep photographing and then this email just went to a magazine. Mm -hmm. It's like I was sure what I'm going to do, but the dubs came from to, mm -hmm. to make money from it. Yeah, I think, yeah, what, w that's why I think it's good to get crazy once you're, when you are a student because then yeah. you have these responsibilities as an adult yeah. to pay the bills. You have people that yeah. count, are counting on you, actually. Yeah, yeah I, think, so, I yeah. think a side job to keep, part-time job mm -hmm. to keep money in so you can do in the evenings what you're really passionate about. Yeah. Yeah. then you can achieve it. But you need to give you some mm. years, yeah. five, four years to... It's hard work, it's hard work. What was <laughs> the what was the moment, uh, just asking you about doubt also puts in my mind, and again, it's, it's always things that I'm, I mean, as an artist, all of us here, we always go through this kind of questionable time. But it, as well, when you kind of get over that hump of like, okay, this is, you know, this is... My thing. I'm good mm. at this. Mm. When when was your turning point where you said, you know, wait a minute, this is, I can do this for the rest of my life, and this is what? Well, I don't think the rest of our lives is subjective. This yeah, day and age, we, yeah. we kind of progress into phases <laughs> yeah. of life at different think, things. Yeah, yeah, no. you know, yeah, no. I mean, I'd love to be 60 and doing archviz on a cintic, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my eyes will be blown out. My yeah. my shoulders gone. Yeah. So I think after the the teacher chapter, that I got really good feedback. I love the students. I was giving, giving, mm -hmm. and then I was getting back, I just realized I grew up, I want to be an architectural photographer. Oh, I man. see on the wall like a, I want to be. And then I got that trip that I did a week trip with mm -hmm. my car. Uh, and I was by myself and getting in small hotels, photographing buildings, and I have a portfolio finally. Yeah. So when I start showing the portfolio, that was the next chapter. So your portfolio is being shown. And then, this one. Yeah. and then I start knocking doors, small firms, friends of friends. People from a small studio to big studios, most of them say no, sending emails. I did my final thesis, the final project of the degree about architecture. Mm -hmm. And then that was when I really realized I started having something yeah, real. Okay. Like a, and then I showed the portfolio and I met other photographers and I was able, I didn't feel like a small, that small anymore. I feel like a yeah. big, bigger. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I was in my teen years, you know. Like yeah. a, and I, I think it was actually gradual because I was photographing a lot by myself mm. and I was learning and I have in my mind all the magazine I yeah. saw, I, I read and also Fernando Guerra. 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 I'll teach you, it's okay. I'll teach you later. Guerra. Uh, I saw so many photographers and also the historical ones. Um, and I have them because by the time there was no Pinterest. So, yeah. I, so I put them in folders in my desktop. <laughs> so I saved the images from the browser. Yeah. I put oh, that's it. old school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really old school. Yeah. I'm getting all them. I, so I still do so that though. I start, <laughs> so I start yeah. doing this and then I start meeting. I went to a photography workshop of portraits yeah. and I realized portraits not my thing yeah. before. Yeah. So it's been like a long process until you discover Understanding, it. Yeah. And, and I think it's good if you ultra specialize, but don't put labels. I mean, you could be an architectural photographer with a street photography style. Yeah. yeah. So like a, yeah. we can see Fernando. Fernando Guerra, he has a lot of street you, photography. You did a workshop, right? Yeah, I did a workshop recently, uh, Lisbon in June. And he's, mm. he was amazing because he's, he's him. Yeah. What he, he photographs is the same way he teach. He doesn't want to do more, more workshops because he's really busy yeah. and it's not time for him. But it's probably that thing about teaching we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, because you are busy. If you are busy, mm. you don't have time, no? And we were having a meal, we were talking, and then he was saying, I want to be a travel photographer. I wanted to be a travel photographer. Yeah. Mm. And these were my uh, photographers, some of them, Magnum ones, the big ones, and he want to be, and then he failed and he became an architectural photographer by accident. He's an architect. Really? Yeah. But right. he was an architect. He yeah. was um, working in that, the Portuguese um, uh, colony in the yeah. Asia. I don't remember the name. Macau. Macau. Uh, he, he came to my school and did a lecture, I remember, my uni. So he was first architect, finished, 
good grace. He probably and then he he loved photography. He was very passionate, and he wanna be a travel photographer like for uh, National Geographic mm -hmm. and the magazine. But he couldn't. But he realized that the street photography he wanna do and the travel came into the. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit like uh, you wanna do something, but then yeah, a change of path. Yeah, I don't know if, if happened to you guys. Yeah, I mean, I think as. A, as an artist, we all like try many things. Uh, I've done uh, so many fields on Pedro as well. Oh, you, you, you didn't even. No, but I mean. You started with us in this field, right? In Agvis, yeah, completely. I'm really? <laughs> I'm a graphic designer, yeah. guys. Wow. <laughs> but um, but I, I was doing sketches, illustration. So you don't have an uh, architectural no, background? No, I, I made. Well, I made a um, design school, like graphic design school and art school, of course, mm -hmm. but I had no concept art, no, uh, no, not even illustrations, to be honest. I was doing that on the side. And uh, Pedro gave me my chance, and uh, well, I'm you earned it, man. <laughs> to be honest, like uh, go him. But, he's, uh, he's Timon super humble. So he's uh, he's uh, he did he made some. Uh, yeah, I think what captivated me when he sent his portfolio was des graphic design. So I knew he had artistic sensibility straight away. You know, right? Hmm. Someone who really enjoys that. And then, and sorry, Timon, to, to interrupt you with this, <laughs> Perfect, but man. Uh, I gotta build you up, man. You deserve it. <laughs> And then basically he put in his personal sketches yeah. as well, like that he done. Personal and stuff. I, and I said, oh, wait a minute, there's mm. something here. Yeah, what I did was, I I wanted to show who I am. To yeah, like I was like, there was no architecture, agvis at all in my portfolio. I just said, this is what I'll do. This is who I am. Yeah, and I like do it my 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 painting that I think I could be good at this. Yeah, also and, uh, seems like a good approach. Yeah. Sometimes if you approach people with a portfolio, if you are asking for something, they can yeah. smell it straight yeah, exactly. away. So you should be humble, show what you're doing, and then wait if they want something it's, for you. Give yeah. a card or send, keep in touch. You can do a newsletter. Yeah. And if they are really like you, they will call yeah. you. Because one of the things I work it out in Barcelona is I was showing too many architects, and yeah. then I have commissions. Yeah. I had some, some good commissions. But the thing is, you need to be... The better if you have a good portfolio is yeah. is a must because you are competing. But then yeah. you need to have this you know calm approach and yeah. That's the thing. I, the way I feel it is like either you have a portfolio that shows exactly what where you yeah. want to to go, but that the quality has to be up there. You you you're yeah. competing against everyone. Yeah, it's the like, industry. It's like if you are chasing girls yeah, all the yeah. time, <laughs> you are chasing girls in the bars. Look, look at me, look at me. Yeah, I'm exactly. single, I'm single, look but, at me. But if you look show your personality. Then, yeah, it's going to be like the girls are going to be, mm, he, he looks a bit desperate. No? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or maybe you are yeah. a playboy, I don't know. But yeah. if you are selling uh, out yourself all the time, it could yeah. be a bit aggressive. So Yeah, mm, yeah that's very true. That but, is um, very true. I have one question I, I want yeah. to ask you. You talked about the chapters in your life, yeah, uh, chapter, in your career, kind of. Chapter five. Was yeah, the, exactly. The what, what, what is the next chapter, actually? I'm quite of, curious. Do you uh, have it in mind? Chapter or? five was after <laughs> teaching. And then I got this flash, like, uh, wow, I was doing the uni. Yeah. I was teaching something. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is now time to do focus what on. What you like. So for and now, then this London is... was chapter six, yeah. you say. And uh, then chapter seven has been the, you know, try to keep the it, building up, building them up, yeah. uh, working for Cityscape, mm -hmm. been trying mm -hmm. to be, you know. Um, and do you have any idea of how you want this book to end? I just want to do. Just want the I story actually, to keep going. I go with the flow, but yeah. I just want to do more commissions. At the beginning, yeah. you think about trips, hotels, <laughs> cars. That Tripods. becomes tiring. Yeah, everything yeah. is like, a, wow, look, I'm so, I'm really yeah. cool. I want to be cool. <laughs> I want to be an architect. Yeah. Uh, now it's more about speed, yeah. delivering, delivering good, good quality and in a, in a fast way because okay. people yeah. in this industry, you can miss uh, because... Yeah, the pace is getting very, yeah. very rapid for everyone, yeah, for everything. That, and also, also, I want to say something. Perfect. When I was doing, uh, starting at uni and I was photographing, I put my name, my brand, yeah. David. Uh, now I'm working a lot for uh, architectural visualizations like Archi9, mm -hmm. also a lot of Cityscape that the ones mm -hmm. who commissioned me a lot. And I'm really grateful for it. And the, the thing is, uh, I'm working for other people that, and they are working for architects at the same time. So it's never about me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What I'm delivering is just a piece of frame image that they will post a CGI on it 
And mm. I, I'm really grateful because I go to a lot of places. I, they pay hotels, they pay things, yeah, they pay cars. Yeah. But it's never about me. So yeah, I'm, I'm really cool with the ego thing of the photographers. Yeah. And I have met some of the photographers. And I feel really connected to those photographers that are really, <laughs> really cool with that. Yeah. You, you, talked about, you talked about two things really kind of caught me straight away. Ego. First. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> a big one. Even if we'll go into Ooh. that so long, but yeah. this is a big one. Ego and egos, which is something of course artistic field and especially with social media, mm, yeah. we all see this. And the second one was that, and I'd probably start off by that was that your work, in when you work with a visualization firm, and now talking a little bit of what connects us a little bit as well, is your work is kind of the base print for what others are creating. Does that not piss you off sometimes? You're like, man, I could do some great photography. These yeah. guys are going to implement. You already have to think about these things when you're doing it. So yeah. do you, I mean, even today, I showed you a job that we'd worked on. I can't say it, hmm. unfortunately. But yeah. But uh, we said, oh, your photography was really nice. Gave us the base plate. Come and see it. What do you feel when you see that and you see your base photography of, with an overlay of a CGI? Of, uh, a CGI and yeah. like, what what do you feel? You know, it's kind of yeah, first feeling is is good because I don't have to come back to the site, especially yeah. it's far away. Yeah, <laughs> if, if it's kind no no, I yeah, can yeah, tell yeah. you. Well, let's not talk when, about that yet. No no no. <laughs> when 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 I when I start doing uh, jobs, I used to go take shots, planning this very an uh, architecture can be really people want you to put place a tripod yeah. exactly, and I didn't have this geometry symmetry. Uh, training. So when you make mistakes, they say, David, this is not quite right. And yeah. then I offer immediately, I will go back to the place. Yeah. That's one thing. And actually, then this, this, this moment done. when I have the bad news until I go back, I suffer. Yeah. I can't sleep well. I really suffer. And then when I go back and take the nice picture the client wanted, it's when I can, you know, like yeah. when you play tennis and you, you smash the ball and then you return the ball. That's yeah. kind of good feeling because I feel good because you have what you need. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, about yeah. my ego, my best person. Yeah. No, it's you. You have what you need. You're doing your job. At the I'm end doing of your the day. job, and it's been so many jobs, and it's been so many things that I think one of the most difficult when you have to travel to Leicester mm -hmm. or Scotland or even like other photographers that are traveling to to another continent, okay. yeah, and yeah. they have to deliver something good and come back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I'm just. This, yeah, this is, is amazing what you're talking stress, about. Yeah. And I think Timon, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but these no, things like they just bring out other things, which is, and we, we are always talking about this. I'm looking at the guys here, uh, Mattel and Gustav, because we complain a lot when we go to a restaurant, any bar, anything that we go around or uh, we go and buy something or we, we go and do something yeah. in our day-to-day -day lives. And we see people that are like, they're just, you know, sometimes it's 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 a shame you're being badly paid, and it's not the thing you want to do. But you know, I've I've done a lot of lousy jobs and crap in my life, mm -hmm. and I've had to get on with it and do the best yeah, I can. Stuff. One thing that I think is really important is the, you know, just how much effort you put into something. Even if you're a garbage man, be the best garbage man. If you're, yeah. a, I know this is really easy to say, but. Uh, you know, I, no, I mean, we're fortunate. We, like, we didn't grow up in Afghanistan, you know. Yeah, like, yeah uh, we, are, we are very... We, we haven't had... We've, we're blessed. We, we're blessed and we can't, yeah. you know, we yeah, have to agree. look that, you know, this might not be... But I've, I mean, we've traveled a little bit, but I've been to places that, you know, are poverty-stricken. I've seen people that are, like, the best at what they do and it's the simplest thing in the world. Yeah. One person who's putting, uh, you know... The, flower, the towels on the bed which are being paid crap in the middle of nowhere and those towels are perfectly delicate and yeah, they're amazing they have a smart uh, and construction they, work yeah yeah oh, and construction the work and, and they're being the best and that is hard but they're being the best and what sometimes frustrates me is that I see and I'm talking from again a place of some comfort yeah. for all of us mm -hmm. I think is, exactly. is seeing when we see these people and it's like you know we, you've probably not had You've had a lot of opportunities as well. If we've grown up in this place, whatever, I'm judging as well. But why not be the best of what you can do? Yeah. Why not put a it's smile? True. Why not? Yeah, that's why true. not? 
you know, because life isn't always smiling at you. So yeah, yeah. You, you can see in the visual work in the especially in creative when you don't give a hundred percent. It yeah, shows yeah. straight away. Especially yeah, in photography, same. when I deliver yeah. something, you can't shit in art. <laughs> you no, can't. Yeah. That, yeah. That's why you can go with Hanover. <laughs> like yeah. you, you better go rest and then. Yeah. Uh, do a nice job, be on time because you want to deliver the best. Yeah. And, and then for me, it's when I when I deliver when you need, and then we can talk, and then flying is fine, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, and then send the invoice the next week, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But this is like a whole process, like when you have to hang, uh, uh, juggle with different jobs at the same time. Yeah, and of course. Then yeah. That's part of the process. The thing with this, just um, to complete that, kind of, it's, I, th I feel like. As an artist, you have a job that never ends. Because if you work in retail, you come to the office, you do your hours, and mm. once a day is done, today yeah. is done, and you go back home. But as an artist, and Pedro and I have talked a lot about this, but you kind of never stop. Your, your brain keeps mm. on going all the time because you see stuff everywhere, and you keep on going and going and going, and it's, it's really hard to get, get some rest sometimes. Yeah, that's, that's why you need to rest properly. Yeah. You need to have some holidays if you can. Yeah, mm. some and true then, holidays where uh, you disconnect. And I, I, don't, I don't work with weekends. I mean, yeah. I don't know what a weekend is. Man, we, yeah. we, we stopped this. We, I, in, back in the day, man, it's, it's not going to lead you to good places. Yeah. I know. I mean, it, me because of the weather. Because sometimes yeah. the, the week is being crap. Yeah. And then the weekend is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, good yeah, for yeah. you guys, but I have to work because I need to get the pitches done. So I, I always offer myself to clients yeah. Yeah. to work over the weekends, especially in UK, because you can get the stuff done easily. There is less cars, less traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And for me, it's part of the process. Yeah. But when I'm on holiday, I'm holiday. Yeah. But I, I mean, it's that, it's that thing going back to it of like putting your heart and soul into something. And yeah. I yeah, think we, yeah. we do that on... Man, I like to believe this, right? That I think we do that on a day-to-day -day basis. We put hmm. our heart and soul, and man, it's gut-wrenching, it's hard, it's freaking, you know. But it pays off, like. Yeah, but it's, it's you know, it's a struggle that no one yeah. ever sees, and no one yeah. talks about these struggles. Of, yeah, that's true. Of of how that's hard so damn true. it, it is. And we're we're going to talk about this in the future. Yeah. Know, we've, we've talked about it. Hmm. But when we see, like, we just were talking about it before, but I was seeing one of your photos that yeah. I found super crazy, and I'm like, this is amazing. But what I don't see in this photo is the fact that you waited hours in the in the call just to get this right moment, you know? You just mm. get used it's, to it. Yeah. You have some and other photographers, have other videographers, friends, fashion photographers, friends. Yeah. There is a lot of work as well. Yeah, exactly. But they work by, with team. Yeah. We just work by, by, by ourselves. Sometimes you get a assistant, you have uh, someone, the client comes yeah. with you. But you just need to do your best and then try to do a nice edit yeah. and, and, and take it easy and the same. Right. I, I mean, and the more practice a project you do, you're going to have something. So that's yeah. for our words. If I can give a tip to people who is starting, just, just shoot a lot. Shoot don't, a, yeah, don't, practice, put, don't put uh, barriers yeah. mm. to, to your job. Just shoot a lot. Yeah. With anything, really. That Couldn't you know. agree more with that. And build practice, a portfolio. Uh, it's a solution. Well, David, I just have one last question for you. Yeah. That I'm fine, I thank you. Just really um, curious about is uh, we see a lot of photographies and pictures, images, but what to you defines or makes a really good piece of art, not not just a photography? Like what, when you see photographies, when do you what, when do you get this feeling of oh, this one is actually art? It's not just a, a good photo. photograph. Yeah. Mm. I like the idea when you see the same place photographed by different people yeah for example you go to an event and then you can see fireworks and then you see the same event is being taken for mm -hmm. three four different photographers yeah i don't like things very post you know when yeah. stage people things very stage okay yeah and yeah, these things yeah. that people do in instagram like, like a yeah, podcast like <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and for me it's a combination of lighting and mood like uh, the things that we were talking about like i want to be in that picture okay because yeah. for me when i travel i'm in rome and i take in a picture is something and then tomorrow I, i'm catching a plane so for me yeah. is this is the last time i'm gonna be here okay so i want to i want to have some memento you know i want to have this this moment with mm -hmm. a gracious light and with nice composition mm. and for me it's fine so Gustav was asking me about processing and I just say Lightroom, Lightroom yeah. a bit of curves and that's it. 
and there is no sorry there is no much like a, you don't have to do a lot it's it's like a makeup you yeah. want to put much makeup in your face like it. Yeah, you just yeah. want to do so you're more into capturing the moment once you're there yeah. and getting the yeah. best feeling yeah maybe getting later. a bit older and just like <laughs> simple good light good yeah. composition and like to move around and get a yeah. nice composition with a great light coming in yeah. Uh, but yeah that's very interesting it maybe it's picking up the best nice light of that moment for that specific building like yeah. maybe you have an incred incredible dusk but maybe the first light in the morning and i don't know try to be yourself mix him up with mm. the people and the thing and okay i think the, like just taking one small thing as well again out of because i'm today i'm in the listening mode <laughs> but taking a little small thing out of it is with with age as well comes and you're saying I break it down. I remember, you know, studying, you know, five million programs and, mm -hmm. and kind of thinking, mm -hmm. oh, I need, I need all these programs. I need to understand every single one. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's the most important thing in the world is I understand every single one. And with age, yes, it's important, but you understand to simplify and where you need to age and experience. It's not so much about age, yeah. but probably experience. Age gives you other things, a bit more patience, or their mind dwindles. <laughs> yeah. And basically, it's the, you know, it's simplifying. And there's that, that story, I can't remember, mm -hmm. of um, uh, uh, some teacher taught me this. The uh, teacher came up to him. This could be a story from someone, I don't know. But uh, he said that, um, he so he got up on the blackboard and he basically did a, perfect circle. Mm -hmm. He was telling the story of his teacher got up on the blackboard, did a perfect circle, like mm -hmm. free free hand, and he said to everyone else, when you guys can do this, you can, you can say, I know how to draw. Until then, my friend, you got a lot of years to keep going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it's like one of the most difficult things to, to do. do yeah. and, and it's such a simple thing. Yeah, right? you need to and master it's, it. Yeah, yeah, it's the simplicity of things that, you know, over time accumulate and we, we, we see that and we yeah. see as well with our yeah. pictures and what we do. Yeah, simple makes perfect. I think it's like so many times you see someone do something and you're like, oh, this looks so easy, I can do it. And then you yeah. try. <laughs> yeah. And that's when you, you see, okay, that's the years of mastery. Yeah. yeah. That's Definitely. that's when you people go to Instagram and try copy literally yeah. another photographer. Yeah. It could be a good exercise of training. Mm. instead of composition, lighting, that's it. But that's not you. Yeah. You but are copying another someone you, else. You yeah. can do that to understand something. Exactly. I mean, I, as a study, I recommend as this. A study, yeah. Yeah. But I, I was doing the same when I, in my mm -hmm. early study years, trying to copy another photographer, mm -hmm. magazines, and trying to do, and then you get immediately, but then when you grow up, and then you try to get something for poetry, from books, for yeah. cinematography. So you try to absorb from different, different influences. Yeah. And then, uh, w so one day I went to see my friend Ruben in the Canaries and then he showed me he, the way he worked with Lightroom and I was amazing. Yeah. yeah. You're like, just this is, one care. This is for me and I'm gonna. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna yeah, do. Yeah, and the better yeah. you just go to the place to the right light and, and yeah. that's it. And if it fails, just go back tomorrow if you're in the same spot. Right? Yeah, I guess. I'm looking at all the batteries. <laughs> I, I guess <laughs> everything uh, is going. Yeah, it's SD been, cards. It's been like an hour. <laughs> and I think, yeah. I think we're kind. Of, Dimon, do you do you? No, want to ask so anything, it was or? super in inspiring and interesting to me. Thank you. Um, yeah. I think everyone we've just been speaking. Yeah. Uh, we we totally at a stage you forget about the cameras, you forget your recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Thank you. And and w I mean, I think for everyone. Mattel is here we're now end of the day but everyone is like super saying you know it's it's cool we're enjoying it it's really nice and I think that as well is a big part to you David hmm. yeah uh, we I mean I want to thank you this was something it's been like amazing we, having you here man. we thank had this so idea to do the podcast we yeah. just were like who is gonna it's start this off it's a pilot <laughs> It's the, the pilot. It's the, the pilot. So <laughs> Netflix might pick this up and they might do a reality show. I don't know. See what but, happens. But basically, yeah. Um, I think uh, we we wanted to be wanting to do this, and yeah. you were gonna visit us, and I said, well, Cabrera, let's do this. Let's let's get do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get crazy. Yeah, so I thought it would it would be a podcast. Then it become like a. We, but that but is the fine. idea. It's because, Hollywood, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's been a friendly talk, and then that, thank you guys for having me here. It's such flicks and chill, man. Yeah, <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any questions, just put comments, and then we try I, to I buy. just want to say that we've linked hopefully all these things up. Um, guys, feel free to comment. Also, any particular people you'd 
It's not people even, it's professions, professionals that you'd like to... You should be interested in, just yeah. let us know. And we'll... even if you guys are interested in coming in, sorry, do you want to No, go, go for it. it. I just wanted to say, like, if you have any ideas, just leave it in the comments. We read all of them. So let us know. And again, well, Good a comments. big thanks to David Cabrera for coming. His, his art is amazing. Check his website, please. Yeah, please. he's an amazing photographer. His stuff is linked below. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, you're a super talented guy. I'm really happy that you came by. And... Um, yeah, to test this out. I hope you like the wine. Thank you. Let's Next guys. time you can bring it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some more wine. wine. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure. So, thank yeah, you. I thank guess you so much. Uh, Arch Vision Chill episode <laughs> one is done. It's done. Good. And um, yeah, thank you guys. Thanks, Timon, as well, man. It's thank uh, you, awesome. Everything. So, I hope you guys enjoyed um, uh, this conversation time. and see you next time.